So we've got the MST80 here, and the system's basically working. I've got an issue with single step that I have ordered an IC to try to address. But what I want to demo here is the song Daisy. So in the materials that came with this was a copy of three sheets uh, labeled Daisy, and it was a bunch of music data and a simple music player. And so I've gone ahead and implemented that. I've got the music data sitting in the ROM 3 here. And I've actually got the player in memory at the moment. Uh, and so what we can do here is we can jump to 06 as the high byte, 00. Then we turn the radio up. And when I run here, you should hear it start to play. So what's exactly going on here? This is an AM radio. It's just a, a you know, it's a cheap AM radio. It's one of the five core Sound of India radios. I looked at this thing ages ago, bought it just because I was curious, and you know, the it's a cheap AM, FM, and supposedly a, a shortwave radio. Although the shortwave doesn't really work in it. So what's happening is there's various oscillators. You know, things are oscillating all over the board. There's memory addresses and data lines being driven, and just all kinds of stuff going on, and it all produces RF energy. And that's why, in, you know, in a modern computer, there's RF shielding. Well, as I move the radio around the computer, we'll do this, an example here. I'll be able to pick up various noise on the system. And what I discovered was over here someplace was the best for picking up the notes that are being played. Uh, and part of that is tuning the radio as well. Uh, you, know, you know, finding a spot on the dial where there's not a lot of audio or other stuff, but it's picking up the RF. So let's get this running again. So 06 is the page, 00 is where the code starts. Come work in this Here's a good example where if you watch me move the radio over here, we'll pick up the radio station it's on, and in this position, whatever's oscillating there is swamping the receiver itself and, and driving its you know tones into it. It's, it unfortunately, it's, it's bills like this are written... I find that just fascinating. So you may hear that there seems to be a couple of missed notes in there. I need to go back and look at the note data. I'm pretty sure the note data is correct. I've looked at it a couple of times. I need to be careful here so we don't get a strike. You may have noticed on the display down here that it's displaying the hex, you know, the, the data value for the note. Uh, that's an addition I made to the code, and I don't know if that's causing some of the noise or not. Let's go ahead and remark that out and see what happens. 
So I'm just because I'm curious here. So we can go in and we can do a reset. I'm going to go back to page 06, which is RAM 00, zero display. And if I move to, I'll find a CD here. Seven, eight, and we're going to go ahead and put no ops in. No op, no op, no op, no op. And that should totally remove the routine that's calling and displaying. So let's go back and run. So that seemed to remove that pop, 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 pop we had going, which I'm assuming, because it was, it was making calls into the ROM here to actually convert the the value in the A register to, in this case, a hexadecimal output. And with that no opt out, we're just jumping over it. So, uh, you know, we're not actually accessing the ROM and that changed, of course, the noise it's being made. So pretty interesting. <laughs> that hurts. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That hurts. 06 is the page. 00 is where I want to run from. almost got like a, ba a bagpipe drone behind it here. Okay, we will play it through one more time and we'll finish this video. 15 minutes of this noise is more than enough. So, uh, if you enjoyed this, <laughs> which is doubtful, well, the technology is cool, the music wasn't, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and you think the channel's worth it, and I will see you in a future video.